tell me everything because I am big time shipping you too. <laughs> you are shipping the inmates. <laughs> Shipping. Surprise! Happy Stop. Stop singing. <laughs> Nora. This isn't making things better, is it? No, it's fantastic. Keep going. <laughs> oh my god. I've used my skills. Debatable. Aw, Ava. Don't be such a Scrooge. Also, actually, I think she's so sensitive about her birthday because it's like not actually really her birthday because she wasn't born. She didn't have a birth. She's a clone. Stop doing my. You can't give in to what your parents want. That's what I did. <laughs> Look how that ended. Ava's like, wait, what's happening? You're not gonna take life advice from Nora Dark, right? Tia, the only taste of childhood I've ever had was almost being killed by a striga at summer camp. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, I need to hear your entire life stories right now. Wow. <laughs> I really love this face off that's happening. It's very sexually charged. Maybe I'm reading into it. Oh my god, they're all gonna get drunk. This is the best episode I've ever seen. This is the artificial musk of a female minotaur. See, minotaurs have a very sharp sense of smell when it comes to tracking prey. Okay, that's wrong on many accounts. There was only ever one minotaur, okay? It's the same as there was only ever one Pegasus. There's no Pegasi. There was only ever one. There could not have been a female one. That's all. <laughs> Nate would know that. Is that like the sister out of Dragon Pants? Even worse. Oh, come on. Stop it, Nora. That movie is a gem. And books. And before that, I just... Are you two kidding me right now? Ava, you're a clone from the future. <laughs> you run the time travel bureau, and you're a witch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you escaped a cult. <laughs> the two coolest women I have ever met. Oh my god, they're bonding so hard, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Guys, oh my god, I love this episode so much. I once met Julian Anderson. So what's that loose? This is what we're going to use with the Minotaur thing. I thought you said that was loose. I don't understand. L-O-O-T? Loot. <laughs> oh my god, that span of writing was so nice and creative. You want me to be more like you, Hank? But guess what? I'm not like you. I don't like Talbot's golf or Tom Clancy books or 70s folk rock. I don't know if you have Sorry, he's like flipping through a book. I'm just reading my novel. Don't listen to your old man. Maybe you listen to your captain. Uh oh. <gasps> Sarah's on Nate's side. Sorry, but I'm with Nate. Mm. I know his ideas have to uh -huh. be He's right. Sarah don't have to listen to nobody. No matter where he is. Thank you. But you said you wanted this and if it goes wrong, well, you go ahead and fire all of us. High stakes, Sarah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, you're gonna ruin everything. Oh, fuck. Yes, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> With Sarah. Yeah, right? Oh my god, they're gonna... Can you just invite Nora over for a sleepover? And just, like, let the night go where it may. Sarah is gonna be there too. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. You know what? You should have this. You know you wanna read it. <laughs> they all wanna know what it Look, says. Aren't you glad you didn't shut down today? Well, this cake is pretty good. They're so oh, sweet. Who doesn't wanna see a Ray Farmer love letter? Open it. There's probably glitter in it. <laughs> They're all gonna read it together. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what kind of world are we living in where these women can be in a seat together? It makes my heart just freaking sore. Ray? <gasps> he was inside the letter. Oh my god, Ray. What the hell? Okay, actually, I just really wanted to see her. You and then I. <laughs> 
so weak for I them. Myself, but then I got that. that was sweet. Stupid, oh. but sweet. Oh. It's unacceptable. But in this case, tuck your shirt back in. Boss Ava. Boss Ava's here again. He's playing James Taylor. Oh my god, that immediately triggered my tears. Oh my god, I'm triggered. Yeah, it's really good. This is one of the best James Taylor covers I've ever heard. Good night, you moonlight ladies. Oh. <laughs> so what happens is Project Hades now. Is he gonna shut that down? Thank you. Do we stand again? Do we once more stand him? I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. I wrote me a letter. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so. They're so cute. I'm dead. Stop it. God damn it. Oh my God. Just be. Just be Ava. Thank you. Wow. Teddy Bear Sarah's back. I mean, Ava. Do you? It's fine. I'm proud of you. Yeah, me too. So go on, go do your adult thing, and we'll see you around. <laughs> Oh my god, bless. Where the fuck is Ava? Welcome back, Leslie. That's one of the can't get away from yourself by moving from one place to another. And thanks to you guys, I don't have to run anymore. Being here with you all has turned me off. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry as pizza. Start that Twitter. And you never know when enjoy the ride while it lasts. Don't say that. Don't say while it lasts. It's gonna last forever because if it doesn't, a part of my life is gonna end. My heart will be ripped out and stomped on the floor. Uh, you'll find your place here. I know I do. Thank you. We love Charlie. Oh, that was it. Aw. Okay. <laughs> so that was my favorite episode of the season. <laughs> I'm gonna say it every week because every week, Legends just fucking tops themselves. And I don't know why. I've heard, but I don't know why, that the ratings are not that good for this season of Legends because this is truly <sighs> such a great season. I feel like this season, the everything is coming together, all the puzzle pieces are falling into place, the writing is more on point than it's ever been, the characterization, the way the you know, the people they've introduced and the way that they all interact together. It's it's so impressive because each and every episode they demonstrate new ways to up the game and having Ava and Nora and Mona in this episode together not only did it humanize Nora not only did it kind of pave a way for Ava to have like female friendships and like friendships outside of her work relationships and outside of being in a, in a relationship with Sarah it paved the way for her to kind of like get out of herself a little bit more and get out of her, you know, her structure. Since she was introduced, she's always been that very stoic character and a person who's all about the rules. She said it multiple times. And that was like such a nice way to see her let loose with somebody other than Sarah. And it gave us a great introduction into Mona and what she's all about. I seriously love her. I think that it's kind of clear that they're making her like, I don't know, the the kind of like nerdy millennial of the whole show. 
And I really appreciate that because a lot of the people that watch Legends are exactly like her. Like over the top, really passionate, and to have her be a young person whose parents are telling her to go, you know, to school and have a have a you know a stable career, and for her to be um, more interested in doing something like working for the Time Bureau is like so relatable to so many young people because all we do is have our parents tell us, you know, what to do and how to be and how to live, and at some point you just have to make a decision where you're just gonna leap into something head first. Um, and that's that's like what she did in this episode and it was awesome and again Nora uh, I just love the the whole villainess to teddy bear thing. It's so great And I really really ship her and Ray on the other side of this episode We had Sarah and Hank and Nate was back once again And I didn't realize how much I missed him until he was in this episode. I know I said I think I said a couple reactions ago that like the addition of all these characters who had so much going on, like Charlie and, you know, Zari and uh, um, Constantine. In addition to all these people that they have added to the Legends, it kind of stands to reason that they had to remove Nate and put him kind of elsewhere. Um, and I love the duality this season with following the Time Bureau and following the Legends. It really helps add to, I don't know, just the diverse nature of the types of things that we see on Legends. And to be honest, they're both highly enjoyable. Like, it's the legends that we've come to know and love, traveling on the Wave Rider to different time periods, and it's also this kind of bureaucratic structure and the reality of, like, the funding behind the legends. It's really interesting to see. But it's great to have Nate back, and I guess we stand his dad again? We don't really know. Nothing was mentioned about Project Hades in this episode, but I guess we shall see. Maybe he's had a change of heart now, having been on uh, the Legends crew for a day and she sang James Taylor and I'm crying. Anyway, so yeah, I died in that uh, Avalanche scene. I will never get over that. And I'm very upset that it was interrupted and didn't come to fruition. But nonetheless, <laughs> it was highly, highly enjoyable. Okay, you guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. This honestly was, I say it every freaking week, Legends is so much more impressive than the week before. And it's not to say, I've just, I've loved every single episode in this um, season. There was not one that I did not love and we're only on episode six, so I'm just thrilled. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. I'll see you guys back here next week for episode seven.